What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today is a very special day because of course we have a brand new, our third ever holiday event and it is Valenbrains. Of course Valentine's Day is coming up this February so between February 7th and February 16th we have Valenbrains. Now I will warn you it is significantly different than the other two holiday events we're used to. What we're used to is of course during those two holiday events which were Lawn of Doom and of course Feast of Us we would go and check out whatever is over here, uh, you know, like in that little town square area, and there'd usually be somebody waiting for us, and if we talk to them, they would go ahead and like give us a quest, and if we do that quest, we get like a special holiday related item. But if you go on over here this time around, you see there's actually not anybody waiting for us, and why that is is because there isn't really like a specific holiday related character this time, and there really isn't too many, like for my knowledge, any holiday related items. Instead, what we have for Valenbrains is we have a sale. Get smitten and bitten this hollow uh, val 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 brains with 20% off available Guard War for 2 sticker packs through February 17th. Plus, go mobile and get more to love with val and brains events in PvZ Heroes and PvZ2 on now. So with that being said, if you guys don't understand, basically there isn't any specific Valen Brains items in Garden Warfare 2 right now, but there is some sales on every single pack in the game. You can see they even have like special heart branding to show that it is on sale. So if you've been meaning to buy some stuff, now is the time to do it. I'll probably buy a few things here in this video to sort of show off, you know, you can save money by doing this, but I also won't be spending a ton because I want to save up and actually do a proper spending spree, and I'm of course saving up for Rux later this month. There's a lot to save for, but you get the idea. With that being said, I honestly don't think this is a bad idea. Of course, we're not getting holiday items, but if you spend your money right, you're getting more items than ever. So with that being said, we're definitely gonna open up like some of these for sure. It says I have a phenomenal character pack, which is really weird, because I shouldn't have any characters to get, and I don't know what happens if I open that. I don't know if I want to potentially waste 60,000 coins. So first off, we'll open up a few things, and yeah, you guys can let me know your thoughts on Valen Brains and everything. But let's open up a Frontline Fighters pack. I also will be making videos on the Heroes Valen Brains related things as it comes out, but okay, we got a few things there. The Gym Space Ball set, the Spaced Out set, the Jousting set, so that's something new. The Gold Bandit set and the Terracotta Weed. We'll also go over here and open up a Z Zany Zambopolis pack, which I haven't opened up one of these bad boys in a long time. So let's see what we get in here. And we're just saving money by doing this. Of course, you know, if I open it now instead of later, but we get the cloud cover, the gold spray cans, the Mr. Electro Diamond Wise Master, and the Sylvan Scorcher Specs. Okay, uh, it's it's killing me now. I need to know what happens if I open this. What is gonna happen if I open a phenomenal character pack and I already have all of them? Whoa, it just gives me items normally, okay. So that was just a very expensive. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, I actually got all rares. I got five different rares. So I guess if you're looking for rares, maybe that's what you wanna do. We got the Silver Noble Shades, Gold Cooler Cap, glo Gold Gold Stick Stash, Diamond Nice Nice Wings, and Gem Merl and Earl. Okay, and then uh, lastly, we'll open up one more. What should we open though? I don't know, I almost wanna open up another Frontline Fighter. So we'll go ahead and do that, and that's all I'm gonna be spending for right now. This is gonna be a shorter video because of course, it looks like Valen Brains isn't, you know, you know, like as big as some of the other holiday events. But we get the Silver Prospector set, the Gem Astronaut set, the Middle Ages set, the Silver Chivalry set, and the Self Revive. So I'll be trying to, you know, bust my zebra butt, trying to earn up enough coins to do some spending sprees during Valen Brains between now and the 16th. Of course, I'm still very, very busy with Garden War for One. But like I said, let me know your thoughts on this new Valen Brains event. You know, I think it's not all that bad of an idea, right? Like, it sort of stinks that we're not getting holiday items, but also the fact that they're willing to switch it up and try something new, that's a very good thing, because that means, you know, things aren't gonna get stale if they keep on trying new and awesome things. So hopefully, you know, they try this and people like it, and maybe the next holiday event, we can both get holiday items and a sale. That would be really, really cool. Or maybe sometime in the future, they can try like a double experience or like double coin weekend. That would be really cool as well. But yeah, I just wanna hear your thoughts on it, and if you wanna see more Valen Brains related stuff, make sure you stay tuned for the PVC Hero Series. We'll be definitely showing off some of the Valen Brains related cards that are coming up up with that. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Valentine Zebra so I know you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebra Tassie viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.